Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kirsten and this is Soul Light Hypnotherapy. And I'm coming to you today with your Love Life reading for the month of January 2017. Thanks so much for, um, for coming to my channel. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share because I am brand new to YouTube. And it's a brand new year. I really would like to um, build up my subscriber list. So on with the show. I'm using two, two uh, decks for your reading today. I'm using a combination of the Wheel of the Year Tarot and the La Vera Sibilla Italian Oracle deck. First card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles. The next was the Five of Wands. And the third being the Empress from the Tarot deck. So for the month of January, I see you, you, that um, you've been building a relationship, working on a relationship for quite some time, if you're in a couple. And it, you're feeling so much more established in this relationship now. Things are really harmonious. Um, and you may even, things are going so well, you may even be considering expanding your family, maybe possibly having children or more children, buying a new home, uh, or if you're not married, taking the relationship to the next level and getting married, getting engaged, moving in together. And if you're single and you're not with anyone, a new love could enter your life so quick this month that it, 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 it just, it becomes an instant relationship. And it's just surprisingly how fast it moves. Um, I do see a message regarding financial projects. Like, is it, it 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 has a lot to do with why you're feeling so um, settled and and ready to um, take your relationships to the next level is that any financial project that you've been pursuing for quite some time, and maybe this is something creative and personal to you, um, it's about to take off. If it hasn't already, within the next three weeks, by the end of January, you're going to see a big, big payoff from this project. So keep up the good work. Keep applying yourself and um, persevere even if there, there, there might seem to be snags or delays maybe you're if you are wanting to expand your home or um, get a launch a new business or a product maybe you've sought out a loan to do this a financial loan and it, there might be some red tape or delays but ultimately um, I see that working out, so that's excellent news, and, and you're going to be very, very happy about it. The Five of Wands usually describes a struggle or a competition. Um, in this reading, I feel it's sending you a message to continue again to persevere and believe in yourself, that you have what it takes, your project has what it takes. You have what it takes in terms of love relationships. You can win the day. You are the prize. So um, if there seems to be a rival in the midst for your current partner or for someone that you're interested in, um, don't give up. You definitely have a lot to offer, and they see that. They know that. You're admired on many levels in January. People are taking an interest in you. People are looking at you. People are looking at what you're all about. They're impressed. It's also spotlighting you. And so there, there could be some jealousy in the air in your circle of friends. Um, another scenario could be that even if you're single or in a couple, if you're involved with someone... Um, that your partner may have a friend, a trusted friend. Maybe this person might even be an ex-lover, ex-mate. 
ex-spouse, um, but they're still close in their life. And um, this person is your secret rival. On the outward appearance, they appear friendly, but in your heart and in your gut, you may feel uneasy around this person. Maybe you feel like this person is um, secretly trying to undermine your relationship, and they are. Um, that came up a, cu a couple of times in this reading with the Five of Wands and the uh, the Jack of Spades from the Sibylla deck. Definitely, you have a rival, but they're um, they're being really sneaky about it, and they're not openly openly showing it. It's it's definitely a sneaky type of gossip behind your back, putting you down behind your back trying to undermine the relationship in little ways. So, trust your instincts regarding that and keep them at arm's length. That is a strong message that came, came up. Anyone that you're feeling uneasy about, even though they may pretend or seem to be friendly, if you feel uneasy about them, you know, don't have them around all the time. Because this person is prying or meddling to prior metal into your relationship. And you got a really good thing going. So I see your your relationship with your partner getting deeper and getting sweeter and again taking it to that next level if you're already married, maybe ex expanding your family, extending your home. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful time, and you've, you've worked hard, and you've earned this success, Leo. Congratulations. And if you're single, a new love is most likely to appear. Um, and uh, like I said, it's going to, going to progress quite quickly. Now, normally I pull an oracle card to sum up the reading, but I felt led to just pull... Um, a couple more Sibyllas. So I'm just going to read from the book, if you don't mind, just to kind of finish this out. And and once again, I get a confirmation that whatever it is you've been working on is going to work out. You're going to get some positive news, uh, positive developments. Uh, that loan will come through. Um, it, it's extremely good for um, for a worker business. Now, as far as the rival goes, this person might be a female. She's in her late 20s to her mid 40s. She's not married and may have dark hair. So that, that might, uh, or it could be a male with those characteristics. Between in the late 20s to mid 40s with dark hair. So this may be the person who is unsuspecting but meddling in your relationship in some way. And then for singles, I pulled the two of diamonds. And so... If you're not involved with anyone, this is a great time to do some online dating, perhaps. So you're getting phone calls, emails, or text messages from another, and you may have met this person over the internet. This relationship will progress quite quickly, and um, lead to a, a very, uh, it looks like a, a very promising relationship could be uh, upcoming for you, Leo. Also, there's a little, another, I, I'm sorry I hesitated there, but there's another couple more messages that I just want to convey to you before I end this reading. You're being warned to boost your immune system during the month of January. A uh, possible flu or virus um, tendency to get a flu or a virus is strong. So boost up your immune system, drink lots of 
fluids and take your vitamins, maybe some green juice, stay healthy, um, so you can fight off and stave off any illness. And if you are dealing or battling with a health issue, um, there is a, a message that any medicine that you're taking might need to be looked into. You might need, a, uh, might need to uh, talk to your doctor and because the medicine may not may not may actually be hurting you and not helping you. So you might want to get so, a new prescription. So those are the messages for Leo for the month of January 2017. Keep doing what you're doing. The, there's always going to be naysayers. Ignore them. Keep them at arm's length. You got this, and uh, congratulations. See you in February, Leo. Happy New Year. Bye.